Good afternoon or evening and welcome to our meditation on Monday, Thursday in lieu of our normal liturgical service that's held each year uh, at 7.30 with the choir. I'm coming to you as much, uh, not only as a preacher, but also as a hockey player. I look like one. I uh, slipped on the ice in December and lost a tooth and I uh, had a temporary in there that fell out this week and uh, don't have a dentist right now that's working, so uh, I've got to uh, gotta wait until those offices open up again. So much happens today in the life of Jesus. He gathers his disciples and the women in his company. He washes their feet and instructs them to do the same. He gives them a new commandment to love one another as he loves them. Incidentally, Maundy comes from the Latin mandatum, meaning commandment or mandate, and that's how the church has understood this day to be a new commandment to love one another. After the washing of the feet, there is the conversation about him being their master and yet wanting them to call him friend. He is uh, in this moment surrounded by people that he loves deeply and who love him as completely as they can in that moment. We have, of course, the institution of the Last Supper of Holy Communion, and then the conversation about being betrayed, and then he goes out to the garden, asks his disciples to pray with him, and they fall asleep as he enters his hour of temptation and asks God to take this cup from him. But nevertheless, whatever God wills, Jesus wishes to do. As he goes through that process of yielding to God, he sweats blood because he's so scared. For me, one of the chief takeaways or important points of this night is that Jesus doesn't let the fear of the moment interrupt or overcome or overwhelm his love, his love of God and his love of the mission of God for all the people of God. He realizes that it's more important that he be faithful than it is for him to be safe or secure. And in yielding to his Father's will, Jesus shows us the way by reminding us of this, that our true selves, our deepest selves, the self from which God created us and added flesh and bones to, this self finds its true relationship in relationship to God, not to anything else. And Jesus weighs all these things knowing how difficult and frightening and uncontrollable this all is, but his final word this night is a word of surrendering to the power from before the beginning of time. And so as we think about our lives, this Lent, the Lentiest Lent we've experienced, we remember that Jesus' word this night is a word of friendship, a word of communion, a word of commanding love that comes first from God to us and we pray returns to God. And it's a word of identity, that our true identity is found in that love and in the acts which that love then commands, primarily to be faithful in all circumstances, knowing that God has in store for us more than we can ask or imagine.